What's up guys? Um, in this video, we'll be going through how to set up a digital wallet so you can start trading NFTs, um, start engaging with cryptocurrency and doing all the stuff that I've been talking about in this tutorial and you're seeing around you. Um, so you need this thing called a MetaMask wallet. Here's a blog post I've done earlier, so check it out. I, you need a MetaMask wallet and this wallet is just a Chrome browser plugin. You can see on the top right, it's a little Fox icon that sits um, as a plugin on your Chrome browser. And with that, you can log in. Um, mind you, you get a very, you get a, what's called a security key, which you need to keep very, very safe. And not a single person in the world needs to know the security key. Cause if they do, they can take your money no matter where they are in the world. So this security key that you're going to get when you download this and you import your wallet, keep it safe. Because if you lose your laptop and you lose all, you know, you lose access to your money and your NFTs, etc. with that key, you can go and import it and have access to it in another device, another laptop. So you can see in my MetaMask wallet, I have my MetaMask address, which I just copied in front of you. I paste it here. That's the address I have. If anyone sends an NFT or a cryptocurrency or an Ethereum based cryptocurrency to this address, it comes to me in my wallet. So it's a really cool thing where people are just like sending money across and sending NFTs and engaging in this, this little digital wallet um, on the blockchain. So by the way, if you want to download it, go to the MetaMask Twitter and click metamask.io. A lot of people have been scammed going to MetaMask on Google or something and then just going to the wrong phishing site and then just like losing their keys, uh, you know, installing something wrong or something wrong goes on. So you can go to metamask.io um, download it. You can even just watch this tutorial. They're pretty straight up and, and pretty basic. You download it, you get your little Chrome browser and yeah, you can buy and sell, send money, cryptocurrency. You can go to super Rare and you can, um, you know, buy some art. You can go to Decentraland and exchange this to mana and buy some land. You can do all this stuff once you have a MetaMask wallet. So you can see, um, in Decentraland, they have different currencies. So um, you know, not just Ethereum, sometimes you might need to change your money to the MANA token. If you go to Ethereum, you can see it's currently 340 USD almost. Um, you can buy it from Coinbase. So Coinbase is a local exchange in the US, I believe. Um, but it's not really big here in Australia. We use something else. But each country has their own local cryptocurrency exchange where you can transfer your Aussie, US dollars or whatever currency you actually have to Bitcoin, to Ethereum, to Bitcoin Cash, whatever. So what people do is they transfer it to Ethereum, then they they send that Ethereum from Coinbase. You can click send or with, withdraw and send that to your wallet address, which is that thing that I pasted. Make sure you do yours, not mine. And do a test one. Um, don't just send everything at once. You know, just send like 0.2 or like a couple of dollars just to see it as a test if it comes through and then do the rest. Take caution and um, basically, yeah, once you get it, your MetaMask wallet, you'll get this thing. You copy this address in here. You can send your Ethereum to your MetaMask wallet. So see how I have 2.05 Ethereum sitting there. It's because I've done a similar thing like this. Um, so send it to my wallet and that's it. That's basically what you do. And then when you're buying and selling stuff, um, you know, it's going to pop up this window on your MetaMask wallet and it's going to be confirm or reject. And whenever you click buy and stuff like that on different assets, um, you know, currently it's mostly Ethereum that people use um, or Mana, but in the past it's been other coins and other projects. Uh, in the future, it's going to be other coins. We might have to use, um, you know, Icon or maybe even Bitcoin someday. So, you know, once you can, once you learn, so if I click buy wearable, say I have 6,000 Mana, right? Obviously I have 6,000 Mana. If I click buy wearable, um, it's going to say, well, it's going to charge me $10 in gas fees, depending on how quick I want it transacted. So gas fees is an issue right now. It's been quite high in the, in the past. It's only been like 50 cents to a dollar in gas fees, even lower. So just because a lot of people are using NFTs and using Ethereum, it's, it's just spiked up a lot. But if I want it really quick, I can just click average and in a minute or two minutes, it'll be done. The transaction will go through. I'll get the wearable the person selling the wearable will get my cash. And that way this trustless transactions happens straight away. So this is how people previously have gone pretty into the crypto world and now like with NFTs and artists coming in selling their art, we're like, oh, well, we have this cryptocurrency list. I want to buy that art. And so what we do is we buy the Ethereum, we buy the art. Now we have the art NFT and the seller or the artist, he gets the Ethereum or the cryptocurrency, mana, maybe whatever it is. And he can take that and sell that on coin market cap. So you can see super rare here. We can also do a dummy buy listed for 1.648 Ethereum on this piece. Um, this guy's got a bid of 0 0.5. If I click buy now, it's going to pop this 
thing up again, I click confirm. It's gonna pop up this MetaMask window because I've downloaded it and it's gonna say it's $9.90 in fees. It's gonna total cost plus the, the fees plus the actual thing is 1.67 Ethereum, 6.8 Ethereum. I click confirm. Well, then as soon as I click confirm, it'll go through and it might, might take a couple of minutes and I'll have this art piece as an NFT and they'll get the cryptocurrency. So that's kind of how it works. Um, basically, you know, buy the currency from, convert your currency from your local currency using whatever your local cryptocurrency exchange is, then remove that, send it to your MetaMask wallet and use the funds in your MetaMask wallet to do this sort of stuff.